right, class, let's get started with our day. <sighs> Can we go ahead and get our books out? We'll pick off right where we left off yesterday. Casey, that doesn't look like your book. Because it's not. Duh. Casey, we have some things to do. I'm asking you to please put that stuff away and get your schoolwork out. Like, we've already wasted enough time. Or why don't you just zip it, okay? Stop wasting all of our time. It's like, I'm not gonna do this assignment and you're not gonna change my mind. So why don't we do ourselves a favor and just ignore each other? Casey, you do know you're failing this class, right? Does it look like I care about that? Progress reports go out tomorrow. Aren't you concerned about what your mom's gonna say when she sees you're failing? Oh, you think I'm scared of my mom? <laughs> That's cute. I don't get paid enough. Okay, quit, leave. Makes no difference to me. Miss Rogers, there has to be some mistake, okay? My son Casey's progress report says he's failing. Yes, ma'am, unfortunately that is correct. How is this possible? Like, Casey's a good kid, he's smart. I never said he wasn't. Casey just unfortunately won't do any of his assignments in class. Well, if he's not doing his schoolwork, what on earth is he doing all class period? I mean, typical teenager things, you know, scrolling on his phone, putting on makeup, talking to his friend. Excuse me? What? What did you just say? Um, putting on makeup? What are you talking about? Casey is a boy. There's no reason for him to be putting on makeup in class. Hello, Miss Rogers, I'm talking to you. Explain this. Maybe, maybe, maybe I was mistaken. You know, I think maybe I was just confused and- You said putting on makeup. Like, does Casey own makeup? Like, I, I'm gonna have to get home and go through his things and check and like, like this is unacceptable. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Mr. Principal, we have a really big problem. What happened? I really messed up. I think I just accidentally outed a kid to his mom. How'd you do that? His mom and I were talking about his grades because he's failing and she asked me, what on earth is he doing all class period if it's not his assignment? So I mentioned how he spends so much time putting on his makeup at his desk because th that's what he does 90% of the time. I had no idea that his parents didn't know. I mean, I mean, I know that he's out here at school. I had no idea his parents didn't know it. He and I even talked about what are your parents gonna say when they see your grades? And he said he didn't care, like he didn't tell me. It's fine, okay? They're his parents. They have a right to know anyways. Excuse me? His parents are his legal guardians. Like they should know anything and everything there is to know about their own kid, okay? The school shouldn't be keeping that from them. Sir, some of these kids are secretive about these things at home because they could be in danger at home or get kicked out and have nowhere to go. I have things to do today, okay? So just quit whining and accept the fact that you did your job today. Congratulations, keep doing that. Oh, Miss Smith, I need your advice. I think I just added a student to his parents. What? Who? What happened? It was Casey. Casey? His parents don't know? I guess not. Like, I was talking to his mom about his grades and mentioned how he spends too much class time putting on makeup and she had no idea and flipped out. Oh no. Oh, oh that's bad. And what's worse is when I told Mr. Principal, he said good and that Casey's their kid and they deserve to know and he shouldn't be keeping secrets from them. When people aren't in the classroom all day, every day with these kids, they really just don't understand the fear and they don't understand the very real danger some of these kids are in when they come out at home. So like if they don't have that experience, their opinions moot to me. Well, what do I do? They want to come in for a conference at the end of the day and I'm panicking. Okay, uh, did you specify what kind of makeup he used? No. Okay, maybe you can say that you mistook the brand of chapstick he had for like lipstick. I mean, I can try. Good luck. Miss Rogers, thank you for setting up this parent-teacher conference. I have some very serious concerns about you saying my son puts on makeup in your class. Oh, see, I'm, I'm so sorry. I think there's been some kind of mistake. I, I think I confused his chapstick brand with a newer makeup brand. I mean, all these brands sound the same to me nowadays. So I'm so sorry for any panic or confusion I may have caused. You wouldn't be lying to me now, would you? Because I'm entrusting you with the well-being of my child. And after going through all of his things, I found numerous makeup products that have clearly been used. So if you're now lying to me about his usage, I can only assume that the poor influence encouraging him to partake in these activities is coming from your classroom. Like, are you encouraging this? Why would I encourage him to put makeup on in my classroom? 
Isn't that what public school teachers do nowadays? Encourage boys to wear dresses and makeup? Why would I want him to do that over the actual schoolwork we have to get done? You tell me. I want to know that too. That's never happened. Oh, really? Then where is he getting these ideas from? That's not my business. Excuse me. I'm sorry to interrupt. Connor, we're having a parent-teacher conference. You need to leave. This is private. I heard my friend Casey was in trouble because of me, so I felt like I needed to explain. Because of you? Right. Um. I, so I have this crush on this girl, Jessica, and she left her makeup bag in class one day, and so I took it so I could later plan a romantic gesture and give it back to her, but I didn't want her to think I stole it, so I asked Casey to hold on to it for me while I planned that romantic gesture, and, um... Thank you, Casey, for holding on to that for me, but I will go ahead and take that makeup bag now so I can later give it back to its rightful owner. Oh. Oh, that makes so much more sense that Casey would be helping this clearly troubled kid. And, oh, I knew my precious baby boy would never degrade himself with something as feminine as makeup. Like, come on, Casey, we're going home. How did you... I'm Connor. I know everybody's business. Miss Rogers, that parent-teacher conference was almost a dumpster fire, and it would have been all your fault. Casey, I agree there were some mishaps, but it was not all my fault. You almost outed me to my mom. And I feel so bad about that. Like, I didn't mean to, but I had no idea they didn't know. It shouldn't have been brought up. Casey, don't act like I was just casually chatting about your sexuality, okay? Your mom wanted to know why you were failing and what you were doing all class period instead of your assignments. I had no way to know that telling her you spend all your class time doing makeup and things like that, that that would be outing you to her. So when I called you out on not doing your work last week and told you I was gonna talk to your mom about your grades, you gotta let someone know that's the case. Didn't think you'd get into specifics with her. Wouldn't this all have been a hundred times easier if you just did your assignments? But I'm not good at history. So ask for help. Asking for help is embarrassing. I feel like I proved in that parent-teacher conference and trying to cover for you that I'm here for you. I'm not out to get you. I just want to help. Fine, I guess I'll come in for study hall. Good, I will see you then. Um, oh, and Casey, make sure you tell Connor thank you as well.